So with digital imagery, we once again have a number of different bands associated with the imagery. And once again, each one of those bands is going to, be re is going to represent some different portion of the electromagnetic spectrum, such as red, green, blue, infrared, or other portions, that has been recorded on one of these layers here. But just because it's, we say it's recorded on one of those layers, but the, um, the types of files that it's distributed in can actually organize the data in different manners. So there's three different types of main manners in which digital aerial, in, in which digital imagery is organized. And we'll just look at examples of those three. The first one is called band interleaved by pixel. And basically what this means is that the way that this is stored is that the first pixel of the first image is the first pixel that's stored in the file. The first pixel of the second image, which we can't see, it would be underneath in that same upper left-hand corner, would be the second pixel. The third pixel would be associated with the third band, the fourth pixel with the fourth band. And then once it's done that, it moves on to the second pixel of the first image and then just keeps, keeps repeating by that. So basically, it's like we're drilling down through all of those different bands of data and we're just getting the first pixel of all of those, the second pixel, the third pixel, the fourth pixel of all of those, etc. So once again, that's called band interleaved by pixel. There's also band interleaved by line. And this basically, instead of just taking the first pixel, it takes the first line or row of, the, um, of an individual band of the digital imagery and then it takes the first row of the second band of the digital imagery, and then the first row of the third band of the digital imagery, and finally the, the first row of the fourth band of the digital imagery. So here's the first row of the first band, the first row of the second band, the first row of the third band, and the first row of the fourth band. And that's how it's all organized. So the unit here is the line instead of the pixel. So that would be band interleaved by line, which is sometimes um, abbreviated BIL, much as the first one here, band interleaved by pixel is some, sometimes abbreviated BIP. And the third type of um, way that this imagery can be stored is more like how we traditionally think of with GIS data, and that would be band sequential. So the first band of data, let's say that's red, is, um, is all stored first. The second band is, um, let's say that's green, is stored next. The third band, which might be blue, is stored next, and so forth. So each one of the individual bands is stored like a different layer, but all of these are stored in the same file. So this band se sequential just um, completely represents one band before it starts on the next band, before it starts on the band after that, and finally the fourth band.